Next question is from Nico MCH. This is so awesome. Thanks for the tutorial. Was looking for something really oriented towards beginners. Definitely need to check out your playlist. I appreciate that. Definitely check them out. Just looking to record my guitar tracks and was first overwhelmed by other dolls and thought instead of buying one again, I should look for a free one and found Cakewalk and then set out to find easy to follow tutorials. If I understand well, you can add drums without a MIDI controller just like you did with the piano by using the normal PC keyboard, right? Yes, I have a whole video, I think two videos actually that deal with using uh, your virtual controller to record drums, right? I have a whole drum series, if you're not familiar with it, called Eight Ways to Record Drums Within Cakewalk. And it really is more than eight ways, uh, but this is like mainly eight ways that I focused on. Uh, so let's say I'm recording a new track again, Empty Project, and I'm gonna go right in here. I'm gonna set up an instrument track, and I'm gonna go to, um, let's do Contact actually. Now Contact does not come with Cakewalk, but it is very free. Of course, there are some paid parts too as well, but it's free to use. So I'm gonna go in here, let's find instruments, click on this, nope, not right there. Let's click right here. See, I should have, let's just beat them down, uh, Urban Loops, that should work. All right, so I've got my track set up. Remember again, to get to the virtual controller or the virtual keyboard, it's gonna be like using your computer keyboard, press Alt-0. All right, and that'll bring that up. Um, I got a message from Creative. Oh, I got a new update available, awesome. So you're in virtual controller and Okay. Got a few different snares, Viper Slap. Okay, bass drum with a Viper Slap. Got wind chimes. Okay, all right, I can go in and record something. All right, let's uh, set this to 85. Let's go ahead and record, all right? So. Okay, all right, it was a little harder to play that. <laughs> Uh, sometimes your latency might be off and once again if you have to adjust the latency of your keyboard go to preferences all right <sighs> scared me for a second I thought I was getting ready to close all right uh, go to preferences and you should see driver setting and the latency is right in the middle so if I wanted to make that safer I move it to the right, if I want to make it faster, move it to the left. This is why sometimes your quantize might be off, it's because you're slightly behind the beat. If I wanted to quantize, this is first, let's play it back. Okay, all right, so I recorded, and of course I can quantize it, and let's say 16th. All right, and of course, that's not exactly what I played, but that's close enough, All right? And this is how you go about doing that. You can record any type of instrument using just your computer keyboard. So don't let that be an excuse that you have to have, oh, the best control. I need an Akai, I need an MPC, I need an 88 keyboard. Now, if you're going for like trying to play piano and really get into some stuff, yeah, you need that. But if you're just trying to make beats, you can just use your computer keyboard um, because you can always just punch in the notes. You can also use your mouse to do a lot of different things too as well. So good question.